All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install a Joomla template. Um, there are uh, plenty, plenty of companies that create templates for Joomla. Some of them offer free templates. This is one site that offers free templates. It's joomlashack.com. Uh, the website is related to the um, writer of the textbook that we're using. Uh, Barry North is his name, and this is his site, you know, and, and he's the author of the textbook that we're using. Um, and if you go to his site, joomlashack.com, you click on free templates, and you click more details. And once you get there, you could, there's a f some free templates here. You could just choose one. So I chose this one. I clicked download now. And then he'll ask you for an email address here, your name and your email address. And then you pick which template it is you want to download. And then click this button, get my free extension right because template is another form of extension right uh, Joomla extension so you hit get my free extension and then you'll send an email with a download link and I've downloaded it already to my desktop so now all I have to do is go and install it so I am go to my site this is the back end of my site here's my test site right I refresh there it is it's my test site there's the back end I'll just and I'll go over here to extensions Install, uninstall. All right. And here's Template Manager. I want to go there. Here's uh, the templates that are in, installed by default. We talked about that in an earlier lesson. So anyway, I'm going to go to Extensions, Install, and I'll browse for it. And I've got it on my desktop here. Let's see here. There it is jseducation.zip. It's a zip file. Double click on it and click upload file and install and install template success. So now I know it's installed. If I wanted to uninstall it I would click on templates over here and then I could run an uninstaller. But now I can go to extensions template manager right and there it is. It's listed as an extension right here. I can select it and then click on the star to make it the default okay and now if I refresh my site my site will have a completely different look um, and now the new um, the new template is installed in my site now you see that my banner here my header banner is now in a different place because this new template has different positions so if I do an index dot php question mark TP equals 1 and hit enter, I see that I have different placements for um, my uh, different positions for my site. So now this, this, this banner header, you know, I might need to go in now and go to my module manager. I'm going to turn off the banner header by clicking here to disable it, right? because now I have different positions to choose from. Now I'll go back here and refresh my site. And I see now that in this template, the top position is over here, right? Where on the other site that was something different. There's an inset position right here, right position, and a left position. So it doesn't have that many positions. It's got uh, three on the bottom, right? And you know the positions have different names so I have to do some a little bit of modifying to make um, my site look the way I want it to look now that I have a different template installed but you know hopefully you can see here that it has kind of a clean look um, but I can redesign my site to take advantage of this new template if I don't like the way the templates functioning or the way it looks I could just go over to my template manager and I could turn it back to um, Rook Milky Way by making that the default. And now if I refresh my site, you'll see that it has the same content, right? But now it's got the other look. So that's all you have to do to install a template and then to choose the different template. So once again, JS Education, make it the default, hit refresh, and now your site, there's my poll. There's my H custom HTML module on the right, 
Here's my text on the front. Here's all the same menu links. Everything's set up, but in the new template.